I got shot, bro, right? I got right. That nigga tied monsters, bro. So he ain't say, yo, Walker, you good? No, Wait, guess you what he said, said you got shot in court? I got shot. And I, I, like, you know, niggas like, oh, Ty, I want to talk. I'm like, oh, this nigga putting up the money. What's up? Right. I'm nigga about to call with a bag. You know what the nigga asked me? Yo, you okay? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you, when you getting back in the studio? Mm. I could have been mad at that nigga all I want. But he let me know he in it for the money. So like, let me stop taking it personal. And let me stop paying attention to niggas like that. See, I know these niggas fake. And if I pay attention to these niggas, I'm a fake-ass nigga. So that's why I never got to do songs with people and hang with people and click up and be buddies. Cause I know that shit fake. Bro, I know you fuck with me because I'm hot, bro. So let me get, let me, let me, let me put my own fire. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and nigga, my fire got me right here. I started in 07, 08. Let's, 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 let's take you know a shot for that. Let's take a shot for that. Yeah, I'm a cognac drinker, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. to do Colombian wet on this one. Okay. <laughs> and that might not Salute. be a rap mix, though. Salute. <laughs> Salute, man. Take a shot. Cheers. Yo, but I'm gonna tell you a story. Oh, that wasn't the right mix. I'm gonna tell you, uh, well, person, Tom Moskowitz, which I do like, oh, and I fuck. think he's a, uh, 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 Cool guy, but I don't see I don't you have, think he cool, but he broke never, my he, never, he broke never, my team. You talking up. about a side yeah. dude, right? Yeah, yeah, I never um, really did. Yeah, he broke my team up. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a story that, that's gonna help you with this. I'm I got the number one record in Def Jam at the time. Mm -hmm. Leo Cones tells me, come to the come to the crib. Leo Cones talk about what is it, Homeboy, Leo Homeboy's a record? Nah, Leo um, Leo Cones is that's, that's that's different. I don't know him. Yeah, so but, so I'm gonna give you this story. And he's he's actually like Todd's OG. See you. Leo. See when you met Leo, mm -hmm. Todd was Leo when I met him. Okay, all right. So, so you so caught here. you caught the coming up Todd. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Not yeah, that I go. do business with you. Okay, Todd. there you go. You, I, 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 you got me. Everybody right. cool as fuck when they trying to goddamn so beat somebody. I'm gonna somebody. tell you what Leo did to me. So Leo comes and he invites me to his crib. So he got this, it's a Park Avenue, it's crazy mansion, right? So I go in and I'm like, yo, I'm amazed, you know, because this is in, this is Manhattan, and he has like a, a fucking mansion. So he goes. You like this place? And I go, yeah. And he goes, well, make sure you're hot enough so I'll invite you back here next year. See, I can't do that. I've been nigga to slap him. I couldn't do that. I'd have spit on him. I, I swear, and no disrespect to Leo Cohen. Bro, you got me fucked up, lame ass nigga. Like, you see, I'm different. I couldn't Listen, do that. You are 1 million percent correct. But that you probably one, stabbed him. That one line taught me the whole music like, business. Like, thinks that's, that's. Oh, that was your shot moment. That, yeah, that was yeah. my moment yeah. where yeah. I was like, that's exactly, because don't ever get this twisted. It's a business. It's a fucking business. It's a business. We are not friends. You're in my house. Right. And I don't invite nobody to my house that I'm not friends with. But he That's said exactly nigga. What he, told you. he didn't say nigga, he did not, but he, <laughs> I don't want to say that ever. But it was basically like, you paid the bills this month. Pay it again. Wow. You're That's number one this month. Right. You know what I mean? Last month, Mariah Carey was here. You see, but that's buck breaking. See, if you a nigga oh, got shit. literacy and you conscious, what? that's buck. That's buck breaking. Buck breaking. That's like master talk. Let's get into that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, ah, you, you doing that fly shit? Yeah. The little nigga, come get a bigger, come get a break. It's nah, like but, it's selling but, you, like. But you know why? I, I didn't want to turn it into racial because you know why? No, it ain't racist. It had had it's Kevin business. Lyles did the same exact thing. I would have took it the same exact way. Yeah. I don't need you for shit. But when you need them, when you sign that record deal, they can talk to you like that. I'm on the phone with somebody. Hey, we gonna get back in the studio. I just got shot. Don't even fucking call me, man. I'll blow your motherfucking house up. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here, we got Noriega and Waka talking about when label execs disrespected them. Those y'all that think Noriega's just a drink champs host, he's not. He's a former rapper. He had a bunch of big records. Capone and Noriega, they were a group. Albums was fucking dope from the East Coast, dope shit. Waka Flocka, y'all know him as Waka Flocka Flame, then he went by Waka Flocka, now he's Waka. He's not self-proclaimed the best lyricist, but he's a dude that has songs that have moved the culture, and both are extremely intelligent. It's a great interview where they're breaking this down. There's two people that they're talking about. First is Leor Cohen. Leor Cohen was an early guy with Def Jam, with Rick Rubin and Russell Simmons, and he is this culture vulture dude that's been around hip hop for a while, but there's a lot of people that have a lot of bad stories about Leor Cohen. And that's who Noriega was talking about, where he told him, congratulations, but be hot enough where I invite you back to my house next year. Looking at him like he's just a pawn bitch. Todd Moskowitz is the baby Leor Cohen. Worked with him at Def Jam a little bit, and when they went and started 300 Records with Kevin Lyles and Julie Greenwald, you start watching a lot of these interviews, you keep hearing the same names. And there's bad stories about all these people. Todd Moskowitz is 
the same pussy ass build like Leo Cohen and didn't even show Walker any concern after he got shot because he looked at them as like a product in manufacturing. There's two lessons I really want you to learn here. Number one, business is never personal, ever. A lot of y'all are starting businesses. A lot of y'all want to be entrepreneurs. A lot of y'all are too emotionally attached to other people's opinions of your business. You're going to be emotionally attached to your business, but you need to be emotionally attached to the finances of your business, to the execution of your business, to the hard work of your business, not other people's opinions about your business. Your friends and family aren't going to care about your business. Don't allow the emotional attachment of your friends and family to come into your business. Don't ever think anybody who you're doing business with is your friend. They're there for money. A lot of y'all have had jobs. A lot of y'all had jobs that you liked, but were you there because you liked it or were you there because they were paying you? That's all this is. You have to understand it when it comes to business. If you're in business with family members, which is the worst thing you can fucking do, in my personal opinion, you have to be able to separate that. And the only thing that matters in business is money. The only thing that matters to me in Group A to music is money. Yeah, I'm glad we helping artists. Yeah, I'm glad I'm putting y'all on game. Yeah, I'm glad we giving interns opportunity to learn stuff they can take with them. But if Group A2 doesn't make money, we shut down, none of this shit matters. We gotta make money, that's what it is. If you don't like that, don't go into business because everything in this world is based around money. Number two, when you're an artist, they don't give a fuck about you. You think Leo Cohen, Tom Moskowitz, and Julie Greenwald are the only people that think like this? They all think like this. They don't give a shit. That's why they don't help independent artists. That's why they don't want us to win because we're in control. They don't care about Walker. He got shot. He ain't the first rapper to get shot. We go get back to the studio. Leo Cohen didn't care how he talked to Nori. Yeah, you went number one this month. Mariah Carey coming here next month. What the fuck you gonna do? Like Walker said at the end, this is butt breaking. This shit been going on since slavery times. And that's how the music industry is set up. Like slavery. Master recordings. You know what the duplicates are called? Slaves. Go look the shit up. I'm not no motherfucking slave. I work for my fucking self. Ain't none of these motherfuckers ever gonna tell me some shit like that. Be hot enough, I'll invite you back next year. Bitch, fuck you. I'm independent. Bitch ass Ty Moskowitz, bitch ass New York Cohen. Stop giving these people your business, your heart, your soul, your intellectual property, and the ownership and control over your family. This is the new slavery. Y'all are choosing to be enslaved to these people. We gotta take control of this shit. It's our time right now. Independent artists has never been easier. Why aren't you taking control? That's why we offer all those services at Group 82. You can click that link in the bio and get these services for 60% off. That way you ain't got to worry about somebody saying be hot enough so I can fight you back to my crib next year because you in control, like me. I make this money. This goes to my family, not anybody else's. The Clark name owns these copyrights. Group 82 belongs to me. Click the link in the bio. Take control. You're an independent artist. It's time for you to own and do everything the right way. We don't need to be exposed to this bullshit ever again. I'm not the pod. Y'all stay true. Group eighty two music dot com dot com dot com dot com.